Welcome back to Badass Fans Vlog Live. We're here with Beach Party today. Thank you guys for being here. Stoked yeah, to have you. I was telling Adam earlier, I went and saw you guys at the Echo huh? uh, mm -hmm. last month. And I'd heard friends were like, no, you have to check them out. You have to check them out. And I walked in right before your set. And I was like, fuck yeah. Oh, so cool. Cool. Yeah. it was killer. So thank you guys for being here today. Yeah, thank for having you. us. Yeah, for having our us. Pleasure. So usually we start out kind of breaking the ice with the wheel here. The wheel Ooh. of random stuff. Okay. So whatever order you guys want to go in, each each of you gets a spin. And James, you get to answer James can go first. something Ooh. random. Okay. You ready to go? So basically, I'm going to spin it, okay. and you can just tell me this when to wonderful. stop, and okay. I'll just stop it. Okay, ready? Okay. Stop. First celebrity crush. Mm. Oh my god. Awesome. <laughs> is it Dem Dem Demi Moore? Which is no, it? I was going to say Denzel Washington. <laughs> no, it's Denzel oh, Washington. I, I didn't know it was your turn. No, it wasn't. <laughs> um, the, the Kimberly, the pink Power Ranger. Oh. Oh. Without a doubt, actually, that is with the wow. really with the final answer. answer. <laughs> <Didn't matter. laughs> Good wow. question. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Nice. Close whoever, whoever that girl is. I think she was also in um, that movie that was named after a song. Oh God. Uh, <coughs> Susie Q. Susie Q. I think it was a Disney movie. It was great. Um, that actress. Nice. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> she was the most excellent. Oh, man. Alright, like... Adam, you ready? Yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> Stop. What's your spirit animal? Rob Banks. <laughs> yeah. Rob <Yes>. Banks. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's <laughs> mine. <laughs> that was quick. That's easy. Oh, That's easy. I, think you're, I think he's everyone's spirit animal. <laughs> Alright. Oh, he's quest. very spiritual. Yes. He's vision like an animal. quest. <laughs> I take them. I guide them on a vision quest. So. All right. Yeah. Nice. All right, Rob, you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> What's his favorite sappy love song? Oh, sappy love song. Um. Gosh. Uh, Which Elton John song is it? <laughs> I know. Yellow Brick Road by Elton John. I think that one always. Your song. My song. Oh, no, I thought you said what Elton John. Um, no, your song. Elton John's Sacrifice, though. I have a good story. Oh, <laughs> no, like, your my, song. My, my, my dad had this. Uh, my dad had this old van, and it. Uh, oh boy. And he kept this Elton John tape in it. Yeah. And it was this song, Sacrifice, which I don't even know. If Sacks of knows. rice. So, no, yeah. Sacrifice. Anyways, it's a very uh, sappy love song, but it's 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 so emotional and powerful. Anyways, I guess that one. All right. Wait, did I just throw Elton John out there? Yeah. Well, I, can answer, I can answer oh, yours and you answer mine. Right. Did you just go for a five? I did. Right. 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 Oh, it's he so took denied. his head and then there's hair. Oh. Stop. Hobbies. I thought that said hibiscus. Hibiscus. I thought that said hibiscus too. Hibiscus. I'm like, hibiscus. I like it in. Uh, Sometimes. What are your hobbies? So, hobbies. We were talking about some music. Lots of hobbies. Um, hey, what's up? <laughs> woodworking. Uh, yeah, uh, hobbies, yeah. Woodworking, um, using tools, woodworking, woodworking. So woodworking. He's, yeah. tools. Yeah. He's like the most, <laughs> frat, but yeah, he is the most skills of all of us outside the band. Like he really? Could, he could build anything. That's awesome. Just incredible. Not Carpentering. Not yeah. Carpentering. Carpentry. He's, like Jesus. <laughs> He's like Jesus. He's like Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, on that note, how about we talk about band in general? So, how did you guys all meet, and when did you start playing together? Um, J yeah, James and I met. Rob and I, Rob and I, had known each other for a little while. Um, we were playing in different bands, and we kind of talked about wanting to do something together, and. Um, we like started hanging out and just recording together, doing like demos and stuff, whenever we could. And then we got a couple of songs together and wanted to actually like play them live and stuff. And Rob had known Nico for a while, so I met Nico. And then Nico, actually, funny enough, it was here at Bedrock. I think you ran into Adam, who mm -hmm. Nico had known for a really long time, and Adam was playing with another band, mm -hmm. and we were looking for a bass player. And Adam's like a bass player, guitar player, plays anything, but. Uh, I guess Nico went to Adam, so yeah, it was kind of a chain. And it all happened really quick, too. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Just like love. I've known Rob. <laughs> I've known Rob for a long time, so we go kind of way back. And we've always been, like, talking about starting a project or, like, I don't know, or jamming or yeah. whatever. 
So it kind of all just fell together. So how long ago was that? How long have you guys been playing together? Two or three, two or three. I think like it's two coming out like years. two, half, three years now. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Wow. So yeah. influences from all of you. No way. Um, what's that? I think that's pretty too. <laughs> <laughs> Jethro Tull, Sabbath. No, um, I mean, you know, I think they're kind of all over the board. Um, for me, it's like, uh, I don't know, a lot of like older stuff, uh, like, you know, 60s Crabs, Kinks, and, uh, you know, animals, zombies, stuff like that. But then, I mean, I listen to everything, you yeah. know. Uh, I think our music specifically is like kind of even like that post punk stuff, like, like Buzzcocks or Undertones or, yeah. you know, yeah. um, Wire and stuff like that. Or, like, you know. I mean, for the most part, we all like. Pavement. We all have this kind of the same influences, you know. I, maybe we all veer off in different aspects, but. I like everything from like jazz, like Elvin Jones to Absolutely. Pentagram, you know, like pre pre metal, like yeah, Nina Simone. But we, I think, I think James and I also like, especially in the beginning, really liked like uh, like Motown R and B stuff, you know. Yeah. But then we wanted to apply it to more of like a a punk aesthetic, like so kind of like went from like that, like having really like we really want to get like good melodies and then just make it, you know, more <coughs> you know faster and more. Fierce. Yeah. Fierce. Fierce, I like that. Nice. Fierce. But, you know, anything goes. I think we've had a couple, yeah. like, maybe yeah, long it, it, nights it, of jamming and, like, Fiona Apple, so. Most definitely. I've been karaoke Have you oh guys not been Oh, my gosh. She is the best. <laughs> We're the pond. Yeah. I have been karaoke so much We're in the pond. The pond. I have that down. Also, um. Even this, the other one. The first two are just great. Yeah. Title? Title. Yeah. Shadow Boxer, baby. It's a good nice. song. It's a good song. Yeah. True. Yeah. So, so why Morissette. the name? <laughs> yeah, I, I do a great criminal. Yeah, anyone like emotionally distressed will like yeah, attach to that music. And appreciate it. <laughs> I want to hear you guys do a cover of Criminal. That would be good. Maybe. <laughs> so do we. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So why the name Beach Party? No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. What was it? It was either that or well, it was we that, or Brad, that or Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't yeah, know. I mean, the, I think that the name the name was kind of like something that we wanted to because when we first started the band, like it wasn't supposed to necessarily be like, well, like, you know, we're a beach rock band or like we're a surf rock band or anything yeah. like that. Because we don't really like. I mean, I love surf rock music and stuff like that. And there's so many great bands, especially right now, that are doing that and they're doing a great job of it. And I think it's kind of a misconception that we like picked that name to kind of like fit the music. But I mean, for us, it was kind of just like being from the West Coast, most of us at least, and, you know, being from, like, L.A., growing up by the beach. And just, you know, like, the, the music is, like, party music. It's supposed to be high energy and fun. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and also kind of reflect on, like, partying a lot and things like that. Like, a lot of the themes lyrically are kind of just about having a good time or, like, the downfalls of partying too much or whatever. But, like, uh, so I, it was supposed to just kind of be just more like a placement thing more than it was supposed to be, like, a literal, like... Yeah, like our agenda, the beach in this like the agenda yeah. isn't like surf it's like, rock, yeah. but it's, it's... We don't, yeah. Just words, you know. I mean, I feel like a lot of names in, of bands don't necessarily reflect exactly what the music is or whatever. It's just random words put together. And, you know, like we didn't obviously put too much thought into it in, in retrospect, you know. Could yeah. have been, it could have been a million different names, but yeah. like Brad Pitt, but... Um. <laughs> Limp Biscuit was taken. Yeah, Limp Biscuit was <laughs> taken. Is that with so. three T's? Final answer. <laughs> So how does your creative process typically work? Um, it it kind of varies. I mean, sometimes one of us will have a specific song that's kind of fully already there for the most part, or like structurally wise, lyrically, <coughs> and then just come to the band and we'll just jam on it. Sometimes we have songs that we've just jammed out for months on end and never really come to anything, and then one day it'll somebody will come up with something and it all kind of comes together, and we don't even really know where the origins of it started. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, typically, you know, we we rehearse. A lot and we'll try to you know throw ideas around and you know um there's no like one formula though for any yeah. any particular Probably we have a, a certain method like it's constantly changing like you Pretty know organic just kind of yeah. bring bring an idea to the table and we all kind of just build on it i guess right i mean yeah gotcha so what do you think the hardest thing is uh, being a band in los angeles not killing each other 
<laughs> driving or maybe. Ubering home at night from shows. So paying like rent? Not driving. It's <laughs> 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 a good one. Yeah. Move to Montana, guys. Yeah. Now, honestly, the hardest thing about being a band in Los Angeles is uh, trying to stay focused because it's so nice all the time everywhere and there's so much, so much things to do. It's kind of hard to stay focused here. Like it's not like in Seattle where it rains, you know, 90% of the year and everyone's just stuck inside. Yeah. You know, you're just kind of like, oh, why go rehearse there? We can go hang out at the beach. Drink. <laughs> <laughs> Get a pool, do whatever. Yeah. All right. So a big question: If you could change one thing about the music industry right now, what would it be? To give artists more money, probably. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, I mean, I think, I think, money, you know, but, but, but like, I would change true. radio. Like, I mm. think that just the whole radio is just a joke now. Yeah. You know, there's serious yeah. and all those paid that are great, but as far as what you hear, I mean, we live in Los Angeles and there's, there was a great, like, you know, indie station forever, then it became mainstream, yeah. and now there's nothing. I, you th know? I think everything's changing. It's not even a good right country now, station. Like, like, you know, there's like, there's just K Rock and, but serious like XM and stuff like that does allow a, a lot more yeah. greater variety than yeah. like but just no K like, Rock in LA or something. Right, there's there's no no like, I'm saying no like, like free radio or anyone who's like, like free actually radio. playing new music. That I don't even like, know what the music industry is anymore. I don't even know. I don't know. Where, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I think it's a great time right now because it's. It, I mean, especially so many bands just doing it. They're you know by themselves and you know putting stuff out there. Especially with like all this stuff with technology now, it's like you can do that. You can just be a band and. You know, you don't have to rely on a label or anything to get in the studio. I mean, if you just do it at home, you just get get the equipment and just record it. You know. Sure. Yeah, I, I think know. that the internet. I think it's a really interesting time. We'll see what happens, but it's interesting. You know. Mm -hmm. yeah. I I would the one thing I wish is that I mean I know the internet is a great way to spread music and be able to share like information and stuff, but I really wish kids or people would not watch or listen to it on YouTube on their computer or off their phone like I wish people still put on like records and listen through good speakers because yeah. that's like sonically like how it should be and that's how it was recorded like, you try to record something nice to be able to hear it nice yeah. so I wish everyone I mean this is impossible but what I wish is that everyone could have a good quality listen to everything because now it's all digital and now it's all compressed or it's just you know like oh check out this band and you're listening on off your phone or even your computer and that just sounds crazy. Like, how could you really feel or emotionally connect with that? Um, but I think live music is always going to be the greatest experience for the future of music because there's nothing like seeing people in real life True. and connecting with them and that exchange with the audience. And then sonically, it's what we want to put forth. It's, we're not like, you know. We really veered off the question, so. didn't we? What do we want to change in the music? Answer, yeah. Yeah. It is a great answer. Thank you. Half hours. Nailed it. <laughs> All right, so what do you guys have going the rest of 2015? Uh, right now, we just finished recording uh, a new EP, uh, which we're pretty excited to release soon. We're not sure exactly when, but we're getting that figured out right now. Um, and then the rest of the year, I think we're just going to try to record some a full length. We haven't put out a full nice. length before yet, so this will be our second EP. So I think a lot of like creative process is going to go into the rest of the next few months, um, and just a lot of writing. Um, Hopefully get on the road for a yeah, little bit. Yeah, I think too as well. It's like kind of trying to time out this EP with potentially a little like tour, at least with the West Coast or something like that, um, to kind of coincide with the, the release. So kind of just figuring all that out. Cool. Yeah. Sweet. That's it, guys. Cool. Done. Cool. Thanks. Awesome. Thank you, guys. <laughs>